Hi, I'm Nathan, and this is the AR Minute from AWE EU. Today I'm talking with Bodine Benches of Salesforce. <laughs> Can you tell us a little bit about who you are and what you do in the metaverse? Absolutely. So, as you said, my name is Bodine, and I work at Salesforce, and I'm also the chapter president for the Dutch VR Air Association. So the VR Air Association has actually been my entry point to this space. I was able to, you know, get this position, and I was able to build up a network originally in, in Ireland. is where I started with the association. And there was pretty much bringing together a community of people that were interested, and then I was relocated to Amsterdam with Salesforce. And there I continued building that network uh, with the VR Air Association. And then I was I had to take all that back, what I was learning, you know, from the community, from the technology itself. I wanted to bring it back to Salesforce. Within Europe, we've set up uh, Immersive Lab, which is uh, an initiative that um, where we took people all over Europe that were working on VR projects within the company and kind of brought them together. So it was like we now have one uh, organized group that supports our customers when they're interested in going to the space. We advise them, we bring in partners and that kind of thing. Do you have a dream for the metaverse? Yeah, so especially in the space that I'm working with, I work with customers, you know, big, small, public, private, all, in, all industries as well. So yeah. it's really giving me a broad overview. And I see that, you know, the, the topic of the metaverse, the topic of immersive technology comes up for everyone. So there's definitely widespread um, curiosity, interest, mm -hmm. and I'd say that my dream is just for it, the technology to evolve in such a way that it's, you know, being created responsibly, mm -hmm. that people are understanding what the impact is going to be, that they're also tailoring their own business strategies according to that. Yeah. And I'd say that's a really high level, uh, probably more business perspective of the way that I see it going yeah. forward. Salesforce is a tool that everyone uses, and so uh, there's got to be uh, such a breadth of questions and challenges you get to tackle. Hopefully, that's really exciting. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I mean, you know, you get all, you know, simple questions, complex questions, and mm. just like, what is the metaverse? Where are we going? You know, yeah. so it's exciting. It's a fun conversation to have. It's create creative. You know, yeah. it's so yeah. So on the flip side, right, um, and part of why people have so many questions is that there's some really stark challenges uh, facing every kind of aspect of the metaverse. What's your responsibility um, for addressing these kinds of concerns? And is there anything that you're doing with Salesforce or the VR ARA uh, to address them? Yeah, so it's definitely, you know, being clear of what is currently available, right, and, and being transparent on where we stand right now, because Often, you know, customers may come and they'll be like, oh, we want to do this and this. And then, you know, as from a sales perspective, you might be like, yeah, yeah, sure. This is possible. This is the metaverse. It's going. No, it's, it's important to be transparent on where we are right now. And it's also important to take into consideration the people that are actually going to be developing it, right? The people that are actually actively building it and to take their, you know, feelings and requirements into consideration. It's, yeah, and just making sure that the right people are brought together to do what they need to do. Yeah. yeah. I love this idea of having right the right personas, the right requirements, the right people in the room when you're starting to build something, uh, rather than solutioning alone in a silo somewhere. Congratulations, you've actually made it to the last question, and it's a bit of a simple one. It's just a fill in the blank. The future is? Now. Right now. Tell me more. Right now, because we are at the we're at the beginning of something huge and something really impactful. So we shouldn't wait. We shouldn't expect someone else to start explaining it to us. We should start getting it now, understanding what's going on and learning about it. I love that. How do you convince businesses the size of Salesforce that the future is now and that they should start working on it? It's difficult because you do, you do face a lot of uh, pushback. They're like, okay, this is some weird, obscure technology that they, but the thing is they don't understand. So once you start bringing it across in a way that's comprehensible, understand that these are people that run their own businesses. They don't have time to learn a whole new technology. So it's the it's, yeah, responsibility of people like me to break that down in a way that they can understand it. Bodine, it's been such a pleasure to meet you. Uh, I've been a fan from afar for a long time. Uh, so thank you so much. Thank you for having me. <laughs> awesome.